Hello everyone, this is YouTube user Floridian Elevators here, and today I want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. I know this has been quite a difficult year for some, and I wasn't sure if I'd even be able to get a Thanksgiving Day special in, but thankfully I was able to. And with that all being said, um, because this year's definitely been tough, um, but has also been kind of a blessing at the same time, and we've definitely learned a lot, um, I think it's really important that we um, are able to spend time with our families, especially this year, and not to take it for granted. So with that said, I'm going to try not to keep you guys on for too, too long, but with that said, let's get into what today's video is about. Anyways, today we are currently at the Colorado Springs Pioneer Museum here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. This museum was originally serving as the El Paso County Courthouse from 1903 up until 1973. 1903 was when the building was built. And it became the Colorado Springs Pioneer Museum in 1979. This museum is an absolutely beautiful building that also houses a lot of amazing artifacts from that depict pioneer life in the Colorado Springs area, such as carriages, toys, and many other things. It's a really awesome museum that you should definitely visit. But anyways, as I mentioned, this is a historic building that is very ornate. It's a domed building, and it's absolutely beautiful. And one of the building's historic features includes a almost totally original 1917 gated Otis elevator. Now, with that being said, this elevator isn't original to the building. It was added in 1917, so with that being said, that was 14 years after the building's completion. And, and now that said, it was originally a manually controlled elevator, but as you can see, it got a controller modernization as well as fixtures added, and the gate was automated in either the 50s or 60s. With that being said, though, even though this thing may not be totally original, it does, the modernization is still vintage, and as you can see, the modernization's very tasteful, because even though it got new fixtures as well as a new controller, it still features its original caged shaft, birdcage cab, and as well as even the crank from when this thing was manually controlled, and all of that is still original from when the elevator was put in in 1917. Heck, I think even the motor is original, too. So, even though this elevator may have had some modernization done, it still features a lot of its original character. Anyways, with that all being said, we will now take a ride on this amazing 1917 gated Otis elevator, which is the second oldest elevator in Colorado Springs, and it's absolutely amazing, as you are about to see. So with that being said, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go in and take this thing for a few spins. Alright, we are at the historic Colorado Springs Pioneer Museum in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And look at what we got here. That's right. We got an antique 1917 gated birdcage dotus. As you can see, there's the instructions of what to do when um, riding it. It's from 1917, like I said. This call one's obviously not original, but but this is though. Beautiful gate. This is a view of the cab. Very beautiful bird caged cab. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, this used to be manual, but as you can see it was converted into automatic with a new controller and Otis Black Buns probably in the 50s or 60s, but other than that, it's totally original. So with that all being said, I'm going to try to stop it from slamming, and we're going to take it for a ride. See? See, that is the old manual crank. 
Otis Elevator Company. And that is the old Call Annunciator. The inner door will close once you push the button. Interrupt you real quick. All you have to do is tap number three. Okay. They, take you out. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just interested in the elevator. Oh, to fine. be honest, that was the main reason I wanted to come here. So. And then uh, that gate's gonna close for you. And then. It'll open once you get upstairs. All right. And, and just press down on the handle. Okay. This door, and it'll open this door. Sounds good. All right. Here we go. gate's been also given a door operator so it works automatically, but like I said, I mean even though the controller has been upgraded and they added these buttons, other than that, the machinery is original, and so is the cab. Um, so this is what I call a very tasteful modernization for sure. Let's get a view of the cab while we're up here. Again, absolutely gorgeous. There's the handle that allows you to open the outer door. I'm guessing the door track might be replaced, although I don't know for sure. It's the second floor of the museum. Here the relay click. And you can look up the shaft. We're not exactly on the top. But yeah, absolutely beautiful and amazing elevator. Let's see if we can go up to the top, but I'll only go up to the top one. Actually, well, we'll go to two first then. Then we'll give it another ride up. That was pretty cool, huh? Let's watch it level. Really cool. Here we go. We can only go to three, but it is what it is. Look at these beautiful buttons, even though they're not original. Still very vintage and beautiful. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pretend I'm driving the elevator and running it. All right, here we go. All right, let's slow down. <laughs> All right, here we go up, and I'll give you the grand view while I'm at it. Just for the heck of it, I'll get out and get a view of the outside. Again, very beautiful building and museum. Absolutely amazing elevator. It's too bad it's no longer manually controlled anymore, but at least they kept the cab, the crank, and everything mostly intact. Well, as well as the gate and basically everything that makes this thing cool. Um, while just adding new fixtures and upgrading the controller to make it automatic. Chicago Ornamental Iron Company. That's So that's the company that made the elevator doors and I guess all this brass I'm seeing. Well, it's not brass, it's iron, but bleh. My bad, but absolutely amazing. This thing is a piece of artwork. Yeah. It's a piece of platinum, period. If you're ever in Colorado Springs, this is a must-see. Okay. Uh. And 
you know what, I'll get another view of this beautiful bird cage. That's the door operator for the gate. Okay. And it stops right before it shuts so it doesn't slam. All right. get a view out this window. Yeah. Let me get a close-up of the crank. And there's your enunciator. And there are your buttons. These are Bakelite, but the larger Bakelite version. These aren't the regular Lexan kind. Alright, listen. What I'll do is we'll end on two, and then we'll send this thing up and watch it go up, so... Here we go. But talk about an amazing elevator. And we'll get off here. Mm. And there it goes. And that's going to be it.